Welcome back to Luciano TV. I am Lucky Lou and this is Kelly Jean and we're on our way to church. We're really supposed to be there at 9 30 and it is like 9 28 right now and I'm just like OMG because I have to get ready in literally like 15 minutes but God is good all the time. All the time God is good. My mother actually came by and picked up the girls and the boys are still at home asleep. And when I get back, I got some fajitas on my barbecue. They're not frozen no more, are they? I don't think so. I put them down last night. All right, you got to start your week off with church, man. It's the first day of the week. If you want to have a good week, make sure you go to church on Sunday so you can have a good, positive rest of the week. Church. Part of a hustler, mind of a G. Free little being and the homie S. You ready, little man? Agua. Hello? <laughs> you ready? You wanna go bye bye? He's such a big boy now. Are these? He is. Are these uh, the same good numbers that we can call? Yeah. Come on, honey. Watch it. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Bye bye. Oh, honey. <laughs> They're in there. All right. Bye. 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 All right, y'all. So we just dropped Houston off, and now we have to run to the actual main service because worship has already started. Fun fact, he never likes to sit in the front uh, and he's always embarrassed to sing and stand up. Good morning. Good morning, amen. Did you turn around and say hello to your neighbor? Hi, neighbor. What's up, neighbor? <laughs> uh, Made for this, really, what is God's calling on your life? And I know that is something that I'm so excited about as we dive into because really, uh, God has something for each and every one of us. So sit back, relax, and enjoy the service. You have to be made for more than just trying to make it through another day. You feel like you're just kind of existing, but you're not really living the way you were made to live. Have you ever had that soul ache in your heart that you were made for more? Hey, I want you to open your Bibles to Isaiah chapter 43. Here we see God speaking to the Israelites, telling them, you're made for so much more than the way you're living right now. You're made for so much more than what you're experiencing right now. They were chosen by God. They were God's chosen people, and God had led them into the promised land. And God had given them a great call to be a light, shining God's love to the whole world. And yet they turned away from God and turned away from their true calling. And so God allowed the Babylonians to come in and to destroy Jerusalem, to demolish the temple. And then they took back most of the Israelites to Babylon, which is modern day Iraq, and took them into captivity for 70 years. So the Israelites were in exile at the time God speaks to them. And he tells them, you were made for so much more. And so I believe when God speaks this promise to the Israelites, you were made for so much more than what you're experiencing and the way you're living. That he wants to speak to us today. He tells us, you're made for so much more. This is what the Lord says. He who made a way through the sea, a path through the mighty waters, forget the former things. Do not dwell on the past. See, I am doing a new thing. Now it springs up. Do you not perceive it? I am making a way in the wilderness and streams in the wasteland. I said it this week. 
Someday, you know, when things settle down, you know, right now it's a little busy. You ever said that? Someday, you're just lying to yourself. And I'm here to tell you, as your pastor, you are a liar. You're lying to yourself. Someday, when things settle down, it's not so stressful. When we get through this problem, I'm going to really take steps of faith to be who God called me to be. I'm going to really get more involved in the church. We're going to join the church. I'm going to start giving. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. I'm going to spend more time with the kids. I'm going to focus in on the family. I'm going to do what I've always longed to do. I'm going to follow that dream that God's placed in my heart when things settle down. Don't believe it. Don't believe. When you lie to yourself, don't believe yourself. Things are never going to settle. I'm here to tell you. The harsh truth, things will never settle down. This is life. As long as you have a pulse, you're going to have problems. This is life. You got to enjoy every day. Live every day. Step out today. Not about tomorrow. It's not about yesterday. It's about what are you going to do today? Take a step of faith to get ready for the more God's going to give you now. And then open your eyes to see what God's doing. Open your eyes. Maybe small right now, but it's going to spring up. If our church for your family, for your life, that we would open our spiritual eyes so that we could see. In the last verse, he says, I'm making a way in the wilderness and springs in the wasteland. So what wilderness are you in? What desert are you in right now? Maybe you're in a wilderness in your career and God says, I can make a way that gets you to the place that you're made for. Maybe you're in a, a wilderness or a desert in your marriage right now. And it just seems like all the love is just dried up and it's just a desert. God can create springs in the desert and renew your marriage. Maybe you're in a wilderness of worry right now where the worry thoughts, the anxiety just taken over. God can flood you with his peace and wash away all those worries. Maybe you're in a desert of depression and you feel like you'll never get out. God wants to give you those springs of joy that come from within your heart that can't be explained by anything else. God can make a way where there seems to be no way. So if you're at a place of dead end right now, I want to say to you, you're blessed. God does his greatest miracles at the place of dead end. So many times God has taken me through the stage of it's okay, then it gets difficult. Then there are delays and waiting. And then you hit a dead end. So you don't settle for okay. But dead end is really just the stage right before deliverance. It's the stage you got to get to so you can turn to him instead of trying to do it on your own. And some of you are right there right now. But you're still struggling. You're still holding on. You're still trying to do it yourself. And it's time for you to give up and let God take over. I love where he says in this passage, do you not perceive it? Do you not perceive it? Do you not perceive that God brought you here today because he planned it before the foundations of the earth so that he could meet here with you to tell you I've got more for you. Your story is not written yet. I'm gonna take all the past failures, all the past successes, all the pain, and I'm gonna turn it into my purpose. Because your story's not over. You're just getting started. I'm just getting started with you. It's not over. Stop looking at those circumstances and those storm clouds that are swirling because I'm going to bring you through. I'll do whatever it takes because I love you. But you got to let go and trust me. Some of you are at a dead end right now. And you just need to know that's part of God's plan because dead end just comes before deliverance. God of the impossible wants to do something impossible in your life so you'll grow to love him more and the faith in your life will be built in him more. That's what it's all about. Are you willing to take the risk to step out of okay and let God take you to the land you're made for? Let's bow together and pray. Today's message was great. Whole time she kept so staring happy. at me talking about, huh? He's talking to you. He's talking to you. He was. <laughs> Anyways, we are on our way to go pick up Baby Houston. And y'all ain't gonna come with us. You got a little sticker? You had it. Oh. Oh my gosh, already saw us, he started crying. Well, you, you aren't having fun in there? 
Oh, my baby boy. You're so cute. We are heading out, you guys. I am hungry. I'm so hungry. But we're gonna hold on till we get home. We are gonna asar some fajitas, make some arroz con frijoles, and get down on a grill. <laughs> Wake up every day with a smile on your face. Yesterday was yesterday. You don't know if you're going to get it tomorrow. So make sure that you smile and make the best out of today. All right, we're going to get this barbecue started. You know it's a tradition over here. <laughs> Sunday barbecue. Houston, you ready? Go, go. Water. All right, it's been cooking for a little while. Let's see what it do. Ooh, I got my corn in there. I got my chickens in there, and I got a couple slabs of fajitas. There's only three of us here today. The girls is at their grandma's house, so we ain't make a lot of food. I wish y'all could smell this. Can you smell it? Oh, look, baby. I ran out of foil, so I only put foil on one of these corners. Yeah. <laughs> so Lucky is done barbecuing, throwing it down on the pit, and I am serving the man in my life. Kingston. Bam, look at all that, guys. Look at all that. Oh, so this was the end result. I have charro beans over there and rice. I can't wait to eat. Rice. So this is what our plate is looking like. So Let me get the loot channel to be ready. Beans? Mm. Nicely soft. They're nice and soft. I love them. The rice. All right, before I get into this meal, I want to thank the Lord for blessing me with another Sunday and this lovely abundance of food we got. And for my beautiful family and all my fans watching, appreciate all of y'all. This is what it's all about, working hard and feeding your family. Anything else is uncivilized. Well, I love it. All right, well, we're going to finish our food. But uh, before we go, I want to give a shout out to Jamma Jams. Because he say he really ain't got nobody. And he be watching these videos one deep. And he feel like he part of the fam. So shout out to you, Jamma Jams, already. <laughs> <laughs> I got my foot on the floor, I'm feeling so cold Tied to the back while my AC blow Marble on my sink, my skin got ink Summertime, baby, let me take off the mink My flip flops spend it, I'm thinking about a billy